I made a video recently about why to get a MacBook instead of PC laptop. But since what makes all Macs special is the software itself, today we will see 10 ways macOS is better than Windows. There is a never ending debate as to whether Macs are better than PCs or vice versa. Better is of course a subjective term. For instance, while Macs are generally acknowledged to be easier to use if you're a long time Windows user, the first time you sit in front of a Mac, it certainly won't seem that way. There are also things to take into consideration when choosing your OS, like the hardware, your budget, and of course, the ecosystem. We can't simply say a blanket statement like one is better than the other. Both serve different needs and have some unique features. That's why in this video, we will focus on 10 features that make macOS better than Windows. One of the standout features of macOS is its integration with Apple devices, particularly iPhones and iPads. This allows for seamless connectivity between devices, making it easy to transfer files and share information between your Mac and other Apple devices. For example, you can use the continuity feature to transfer documents and files between your Mac and iPhone or iPad simply by dragging and dropping them onto your device. You can also use handoff to start working on a document or project on one device and pick up where you left off on another. In addition, macOS integrates seamlessly with iCloud, Apple's cloud storage service, which allows you to store and access your documents and media from any device. This can be especially useful for users who work on multiple devices or who need to access their files while on the go. A lot of features are shared between macOS, iOS, and iPadOS, which makes your Apple devices talk to each other in a true sense of an ecosystem. We will explore some of these features in details in the upcoming sections. One of the key features that sets macOS apart from Windows is its clean and intuitive user interface. macOS is known for its simplicity and ease of use with a design that is focused on functionality and usability. The launchpad on macOS is a central location where you can view all your apps and easily open them. The dock at the bottom of the screen provides easy access to frequently used apps and tools, while the top menu bar gives you quick access to system settings and controls. macOS has some of the most beautiful sleek animations, for example, when opening and closing apps or when invoking Stage Manager. The multi-touch trackpad or magic mouse offer you some of the most intuitive touch controls and useful actions that are super easy to remember. In contrast, Windows can often feel cluttered and overwhelming with a more complex interface that may be less intuitive for some users. Windows also tends to have more system settings and options that may be confusing or overwhelming for some users. Windows 11 came a long way in making the interface cleaner and consistent, but it's nowhere near the polish of macOS. It's just a beautiful OS. macOS has a strong reputation for security and is generally considered to be more secure than Windows. Apple puts a significant emphasis on security in the development of macOS, and the operating system includes a number of built-in features to help protect against malware and unauthorized access to your files. One of the key security features of macOS is Gatekeeper, which helps to prevent the installation of malware and other malicious software. Gatekeeper checks the digital signature of apps before they are installed to ensure that they are from a trusted source. Another important security feature is File Vault, which encrypts the files on your Mac to protect them from unauthorized access. This can be especially useful for users who work with sensitive data and want to ensure that their files are protected. Windows has a history of being more vulnerable to malware and other security threats. While Windows does include some security features, it is generally considered to be less secure than macOS. One of the key advantages of iCloud is its integration with macOS, which allows you to easily access your files from any device simply by logging in your, into your iCloud account. This can be especially useful for users who work on multiple devices or who need to access their files while on the go. It also includes features such as automatic backup, which ensures that your files are always backed up and protected in case of device failure or loss. iCloud is packed with features that you simply cannot find in Windows. It's more than just a cloud storage. For instance, it comes with iCloud photos that can back up and sync all of your media library, no matter which device it came from. 
It also comes with iCloud Keychain that keeps the website login information and credit card information that you use with autofill in different apps. You can also use the Find My app to locate and protect your lost Apple devices. Windows does not offer a similar cloud storage service that is seamlessly integrated into the operating system itself. Microsoft tried to fix this in Windows 11 by making OneDrive the default cloud storage within the OS, but it felt so short. Finder is the default find manager for macOS and is a powerful tool for managing and organizing your files. One of the key advantages of Finder is its user-friendly interface, which makes it easy to navigate and find the files you need. Finder also includes a number of usable features, such as tags, which allows you to easily categorize and search for specific files. This can be especially useful for users with large collections of files who want to keep them organized and easy to find. Finder has an advantage over File Explorer, for example, thanks to its Quick Actions feature. Quick Actions allows you to do certain things with a file depending on the file type. For example, you can control click an image in Finder, select Quick Actions from the pop-up menu, create a PDF, convert an image, and even remove its background from there. If you look at the file manager in Windows called File Explorer, it can be more complex and less intuitive for some users. It also lacks some of the advanced features and customization options that are available in Finder. Spotlight is a search feature in macOS that allows you to quickly find files, documents, and other information on your Mac. It is a key advantage of macOS and is generally considered to be more powerful and user-friendly than the search feature in Windows. Spotlight can help you quickly find apps, documents, emails, and other items on your Mac. With series suggestions, you can also get news, sports scores, weather conditions, stock prices, and more. Spotlight can even perform calculations and conversions for you. One of the key advantages of Spotlight is its ability to search within files, making it easier to find specific information even if you don't know exactly where it's stored. It also includes a number of advanced search options, such as the ability to search for files by type or by metadata, which can make it easier to find specific files. Spotlight Search supports natural language search, which relies on algorithms to make sense of the words in your queries in the right context and serve you with the relevant results accordingly. For example, you can type unread emails to view all of your unread emails, or photos from March to find all the photos, including screenshots, from the month of March. How about creating a timer? You can just type create a timer and it will do it for you. The search feature in Windows is less powerful and less user-friendly than Spotlight, even though the recent updates to Windows 11 made it way better than before. Continuity is a set of features in macOS that allows you to seamlessly connect your Mac with other Apple devices, such as iPhones and iPads, and do some cool things with them. One of the key advantages of continuity is its ability to transfer files and documents between devices simply by drag and dropping them. You can also use continuity to make phone calls and send text messages from your Mac, improving productivity and convenience. Continuity Camera lets you use your iPhone as a webcam, unlocking unique features for your next video call or live stream. And you can use your iPhone to scan documents and insert photos right into your work on Mac. Universal Control lets you control both your Mac and your iPad with a single keyboard and mouse or a trackpad. You can move your cursor fluidly between them and create content like never before using the power of both devices. Universal Clipboard lets you copy content such as text, images, photos, and videos on one Apple device, then paste the content on another Apple device. On the other hand, Windows does not offer similar features that allows for seamless connectivity between devices. The best you can get if you have an Android phone is the Phone Link app on Windows 11 that has very basic features. Handoff is a feature in macOS that allows you to start working on a document or a project on one device and then pick up where you left off on another device. This can be especially useful for users who work on multiple devices or who need to access their files while on the go. One of the key advantages of Handoff is the ability to automatically sync your progress between devices, making it easy to switch between devices without losing your work. It also allows you to continue working on a document or project even if you don't have access 
access to your primary device, improving productivity and convenience. In contrast, Windows does not offer a similar feature that allows for seamless continuity between devices. Users may need to rely on third-party tools or manual transfer methods to move files between devices and continue working on a project. AirDrop is a feature in macOS that allows you to easily share files with other nearby Apple devices without the need for a Wi-Fi network. This can be especially useful for users who want to quickly share files with friends and colleagues without having to worry about connectivity. One of the key advantages of AirDrop is its simplicity and ease of use. You can simply drag and drop a file onto AirDrop icon to send it to another nearby device, making it quick and convenient to share files. AirDrop also encrypts the files that are being transferred, ensuring that they are secure during the transfer process. You can use AirPlay to stream or share content from your Apple devices to your Apple TV, Smart TV, or Mac, stream a video, share your photos, or even mirror exactly what's on your device screen. It doesn't require any third-party apps. There are no similar native features on the Windows side. You can always find third-party solutions, but nothing beats the seamless experience that macOS offers. macOS is known for its automatic update feature, which installs update in the background to ensure that your device is always running the latest version with the latest security patches. This can be especially useful for users who want to ensure the device is always up to date and secure without worrying about how to get there. In contrast, Windows require users to manually install update, which can be time consuming and inconvenient. Many users also may be hesitant to install updates due to concerns about compatibility or potential issues. Another advantage of macOS update is that they are generally small in size and require fewer restarts than Windows update. This means that Mac users experience less disruption when updates are installed and can get back to work more quickly. In conclusion, macOS offers a number of advantages over Windows, including a user-friendly interface, strong security features, reliable performance, and integration with Apple products. While Windows has its own strengths, macOS is a solid choice for many users, particularly those in creative fields or those who value seamless experience with their other Apple devices. This, of course, doesn't mean that there aren't special features that make Windows better than macOS. We will discover those in the upcoming video. Make sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss that video. I already made videos comparing MacBooks and PC laptops in terms of the hardware and some other features. You can check them out in the watch later section at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.